All right, y'all. So tonight, um, I'm getting ready. Um, I'm packing up to. Um, I got a flight in the morning to Santa Ana, where I'm going to be staying for a couple of weeks, and I'm going to be bringing my firearm. So tonight, I thought it would be good to just do a video of how I travel with my firearm. Um, I know there may be some questions that's going to come out about asking me about do I have a concealed carry to kind of you know get all that out the way. Yes, I do have a concealed carry in all 50 states and territories um, of the United States. I just need to have, um, you know, I just need to make sure I follow that the rules as far as where to carry, magazine restrictions, things like that uh, in that particular jurisdiction. Um, so if you want to ask me how I got it, cool, but I guarantee you that most people that will ask me how I got this probably won't qualify um, for that particular um, permit or credential has a lot to do with my background in the military of 14 years and um, being a military police officer for the extension of that time. So anyways, um, the first thing you want to do when you travel is you want to make sure you have a hard case uh, box. As you can see, I don't usually travel with nothing too fancy. This was like a $30 box at the Sportsman Warehouse. Uh, but just make sure it has a hard case, whether it's plastic or metal. I like to use plastic because... Um, you know, sometimes the metal stuff can get pretty heavy. Uh, <clears throat> usually there's some kind of foam in there to protect the gun, right? <clears throat> so you wanna have this, uh, <clears throat> you wanna have this as your primary carry. Um, Lord, I'm so sleepy. You wanna have this as your primary carry case, okay? Next, what you wanna do is, you wanna unload all of your magazines, okay? So all of your magazines need to be unloaded before you can travel with them. The ammunition that you take out of the magazines should be in its original box or a box of some sort, right? I like to keep the original box where I can actually have the, 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 the ammunition, you know, neatly placed in little cubes. That way it's not sliding around in the boxes and not shaking all over the place. So these are the, this is the original box for this particular um, ammunition. So ammunition, or magazines are empty and make sure you have a box for your ammunition. Secondly, or thirdly, you wanna make sure that your pistol is unloaded, okay? Some people say, what kind of pistol is that? For those of you who want to know, this is my, um, this is my Glock 42. It is a 380, yes. Um, and I usually carry three magazines on me comfortably. So don't think that um, this is not a viable gun for self-defense. Again, I'm traveling. I usually carry this gun a lot, uh, but you know, I bet my life on it that you know, if I needed to defend my life, I could and I would. So Glock 42, nice little pocket gun, but I actually keep it in, a, in an actual holster, right? So when I'm traveling, I actually bring my holster with me as well. Um, so what you're gonna do is make sure it's unloaded. There's no magazine, right? I'm gonna lock the slate chamber to the rear. You wanna look inside of your chamber, make sure it is clear, okay? Once your gun is clear, completely clear, I can put my slide back forward, then I can put it back in the holster. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is, if you can see this, I don't know if y'all can see this, I'm gonna place my gun into the box, right? As such, so I might place it in just like that, right? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my empty magazines, and trust me, with this size gun, I can probably put two Glock 42s or a Glock 43 in there as well. All right, put my empty magazines and then I'm gonna put my box right here on top if y'all can see that. So you should have some kind of configuration of sort, right? Where you got your box of ammo, you got your three magazines and you have your unloaded gun, whether it's in a host or not, it doesn't matter, but I just put everything in one. Um, the other thing that I try to have is also my magazine holder, which I'm gonna put in here in a little bit. now. Once I get this stuff configured in here and everything's unloaded, I just shut the case, right? Clamp that down. And I'm gonna need to secure it some kind of way. So I have these two padlocks here, excuse me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna put those padlocks on the front. I'm gonna lock it. Normally these locks have two keys, so I like to keep one on me and one inside of my uh, carry-on, my backpack here, okay? So it's locked, boom. Once it is locked, okay, everything is locked, the gun is unloaded, um, 
I'm gonna put this into my check on bag, okay? This cannot go into your carry on bag. Once I get there, the first thing I'm gonna do, check in or whatever, and I'm gonna go to the counter and I'm gonna say, I would like to declare my firearm, right? And they're gonna say, okay, sometimes they may have you open this. I've seen most times than none, they actually make you keep it closed, okay? So two things are gonna happen. They're gonna give you, and I, I usually like to keep them just to show students, they're usually gonna give you a little card that may look something like this. It may be yellow, orange, or white, right? And what they're gonna do is, they're gonna have you fill out this card, right? Sign your name and all that. It may say firearms uh, unloaded, right? And they're gonna do one of two things. They're either gonna make you open up this case and they're gonna make you put this inside on top of the gun or they're gonna make you sit the case inside of the, 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 the check-in baggage and they're gonna make you put the declaration um, like right here on top of the gun and you put it inside of the check-in bag, it goes in to the bottom of the plane and it should arrive when you get there, okay? And that's how simple it is to actually travel with your gun. So when you get there, you know, your bag is gonna be on the belt and all you gotta do is just pick it up, take your gun out, right? Yes, there are some security risks with that. You know, some people say, well, what if someone steals my gun? Then someone steals your gun and you have to report it immediately, okay? Um, also, you can have a piece of insurance to actually protect your property and your gun as well. Um, but yeah, that's the basics of it. It doesn't take long to do this. It doesn't take you any stress or anything like that. There's no pre-paperwork you got to fill out. You know, if you want to call the airlines and ask them questions, that's fine. But I've done this enough times to know that all I need is my hard case. The gun is unloaded. The magazine is unloaded, right? The ammunition is in a separate box. Everything is where it needs to be. And all I got to do is just put it into my cat uh my check-in bags and, and call it a day so if y'all have questions uh please comment below um if you have any stories of you've traveled with your gun and any fun stories or kind of cool or unfortunate stories that you want to tell please leave them in the comments below uh this is a new channel so i need you to like i need you to subscribe and also hit that notification bell to be notified of new content y'all have a good night peace